Welcome to Airbnb <laughs> Super Hits Live with Cindy and Colin. We're experimenting with some new uh, music backgrounds. Let's see if this one works. That's pretty hosty. Sure. That's hosty. Hosty music. Uh, today we are talking about just some little special touches you can put in your Airbnb that'll make you stand out from the rest. Uh, we have been to Airbnbs where they have charged us for electricity. We don't recommend you do that because we will never go back to that. Too loud. Yes, this is taking away from the important things I'm, I think that I'm saying right now. Okay, go ahead. How's that, uh, how's that level? That's good. All right, here we go. A little distracting, but if it's important to you, it's important to me. I'm going to change uh, it to daydreaming. There. Okay. Hopefully so, I don't nod off in a daydream. I hope not. We'll we'll keep this brief. Uh, yes, I mentioned we stayed at an Airbnb where they charged us after the fact for the electricity that we used, which was a first for us and thankfully a last for us. And we've never experienced <laughs> that since. So, uh, yes, apart from having... Oh, that's kind of distracting. We're going to make an executive decision to turn the music bed off. The background music will be muted. All right. I liked it, but I was getting into the groove and I was not paying attention to what I was saying. Okay. Very good. Okay, we'll, Colin, try another, so, we'll try it on a future episode. Yeah. Okay. Try to just sneak it in at a low level. So this is all about being a super host. We're giving you some tips, pointers. We want to hear back from you and get some tips and pointers and we can keep this uh, conversation going and open and collaborative. Uh, so... First of all, salt and pepper, important to have. Just certain staples in the house. We also include oil because people need oil. Oh, I see your hand. You're motioning forward. Bring in the oil. Bring in the oil picture. We're going audio visual here. As you saw, you heard the music bed. <laughs> There's some oil. There's because some olive oil. Organic. You don't want to... You don't want to keep messy margarine or butter in the in the fridge. That's true. And you know, if the cleaner goes in, they're just going to chuck it anyway. But if you keep a little oil up in the cupboard, uh, people will appreciate that. Olive oil is healthy too, and it can sub in for butter pretty much any time. I like yeah. olive oil on my toast, actually. Me too. A little yeah. olive oil and some That's salt. A nice touch. Uh, that is until somebody gets a chance, if they love butter, they can go and get it at the store. But just to have something to maybe put in their pan to make their eggs in the morning, if they haven't had a chance to shop, people like that. Yep, definitely. And you mentioned salt and pepper. I personally like to add hot sauce. I do that. We at all four of our current Airbnbs, I always put a uh, Louisiana hot sauce or a crystal. And if I'm feeling really generous a Tabasco, cause you can get the, uh, Louisiana and the crystal that at a dollar store for a dollar. So. Because Colin good. cannot live without his hot sauce. And they're good hot sauces. So I'd go, with the, I'd go with the $1. Uh, and I do believe hot store. sauce lasts forever. So it's not like yes, it's it going to go bad after a week. Yep. Uh, Basically, you can you can put staples in there that, that people can't really open and mess up. So if you if you have a, a mustard and ketchup, it's okay to have those with the uh, the squeeze bottle. But you don't squeezies. really want the, the scoop in because you don't want to get involved in other people's scooping. Ooh. So, Yeah. Yeah, Salt, a couple of pepper. squeezy condiments is a good squeezy thing. Squeezy condiments are good. <laughs> uh, um, in the inevitably, bathroom, yes, somebody is going to forget their toothbrush. It happens a lot. Oops. Oh, ah, those are coming. There we go. I just these are great. These little travel kits, not expensive. You can put them under the cupboard. And I tell you, in a pinch, somebody will appreciate that if they have forgotten these things or their luggage has not arrived yet. And speaking so. of in a pinch, if they happen to pinch your toothpaste paste and toothbrushes that's fine that's what they're that's there fine. for just dollar store is your friend in this case little minis go a long way okay might as well go up uh, to what we flashed earlier which were the facial cleansers okay because if you value are you <laughs> 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 we need a little music well for this next one we do the facial cleanser needs yeah if a, you a value your face cloths and there are people that are wearing a lot of makeup. There you go. Then this takes care of that. And you can buy these at Amazon or maybe Sam's Club or something like that and get a whole bunch for a pretty good price. And your cleaners or your face cloths will thank you for it. And let's just think if 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 this music bed wasn't playing, this would be pretty mundane. This would look like a 
like a TED Talk seminar that would just <laughs> knock you out. So you got to have the dance pop in the background. Sure. Did you mention the coffee pot, Cindy? Back to the no, kitchen now. I did not. Always oh. nice to, to provide enough coffee for them to get started because your guests often will come rushing from the airport. They get in late and gosh, they do not want to spend the day at the shopping store, the shopping store. <laughs> the also known store. as the grocery store. Yeah. They don't want to spend their day shopping. They want to get to the beach and have some fun. So coffee pods. A little and coffee Cindy, pod to get them going in the morning and then they pod. can get out to the grocery store. That's right. And uh, heaven forbid they need it. This music. But if, uh, you first... me, if, if you can give me one little dance, I will. Uh... Okay, let's see. Yeah. I will remove the music pad. Wait, let's get some volume on this. Got to put the, the white girl overbite. There you go. Okay, that's enough. All right. <laughs> okay, enough? that's enough. Isn't it enough? really is. Uh, first aid kit. Yeah. Just in case. But because with the white with with the first aid kit, they've got little clippers, they've got some Q-tips, they've got some band aids. So if somebody you know cuts their toe or something, they'll have something yeah. on hand. There's there you go. Yeah. See, little pair of scissors. Eighteen yeah. pieces in that little thing. Wow, that's that's lo fully it's loaded. It's a survival kit, basically. Yeah. Yeah. So just so reviewing quickly, um, I'll just go through all of the audio, the visual without the music bed. Okay. Olive oil, salt and pepper, condiments that are uh, that don't look like they've been interacted with by previous guests. Yeah, non-perishable. Right. Uh, bathroom supplies can Little include towelettes, towelettes to save your face cloths. Oops, um, toothbrush, toothpaste, and of course, uh, at least a starter shampoo and uh, conditioner, two-in-one starter, just the little one-dollar bottles to start. But people, Cindy, you're kind of you're not big on leaving the shampoos. I am because um, I'm a guy, so it's a little different. Yeah, most well. I, I'm not going to say most women have their own shampoo that they like. Some do, some don't. And of course, in a pinch, again, a little one can come in handy. So yeah. no need to buy something huge, just a little something. Depending on your cleaners, we have cleaners that actually work at resorts as well. So they tend to uh, leave the basics, which are um, the, the shampoo, conditioner combo, hand soap, hand soap lotion, and uh, they also leave a little, uh, uh, it's important to have uh, the basic kitchen stuff too, the sponge or the uh, little uh, little scrub buddy to get them started with washing dishes and stuff. At the right. Kitchen. And oh, that includes all the other kitchen stuff. Something that yeah. trumps all of this, because it's mm -hmm. the first thing people ask if they haven't read their Airbnb instructions and nobody seems to read everything that's written. I don't. The Wi-Fi. Just put it in a prominent spot so that when they get there, they know what the Wi-Fi is and what the password is. Because you go Super on vacation easy. to surf the web. <laughs> but it is honestly just the very first question. And we put it uh, prominently on our fridge, actually, just in a nice little uh, information sheet that's magnet magnetized to the top left corner of the freezer. Uh, Cindy's not a big fan of the aesthetic of that, but it is important. It's the first question that comes down. And uh, you can also have a... It, well, everybody would have that in your in your welcome note. You'd often include that, but it's it's rarely read. People are just looking to get to the beach and have a cocktail and relax, and they're not too keen on reading, digging around for stuff from past messages. So right. that's kind of the antithesis of a vacation is reading emails and messages from people you don't know, which is the hosts. And even though most people aren't supposed to go on vacation to watch television, if you've got a cable system that has two remotes, which we seem to have at all of our places, I have put out instructions for just how to use the remotes because you know once they get off the source, things can go awry and then they can get frustrated. So just give them yeah. an easy way to make it work. Yeah, and it, it really is a case of uh, you kind of have to have that original TV remote because a lot of uh, guests like to do their uh, their various streaming services that aren't on the standard cable box they change the source mm -hmm. so you should you should keep that original tv remote nearby maybe tucked away and then have the main cable provider uh remote visible and hopefully they will put it back to the source that they started with but usually they don't or often they don't so i would suggest uh making sure your cleaners check the tvs if you're not able to get there between cleanings because that is the second question that comes after wi-fi why can't I see? All I see is 
no source or no whatever it is mm -hmm. that comes up on the TV when it's on the wrong source. And it's hard to explain over the phone. Right. So make sure you have, uh, I, I like what Cindy did. She put a little plastic thing with the uh, information sheet for the TV. So hopefully they can master that. No problem. Yes. And it won't get destroyed by water or anything. It's, it's, it's in a little frame that's plastic that sits on the table that explains how to use the TV. Now we've gone beyond our uh, extra touches, but I'm going to add one more, just a little extra TP. Never hurts. You never know. Some yeah, people use I, a lot of toilet paper. Definitely, or at least have a way for them to access more. We have a couple of uh, owner closets uh, in a couple of our units, so you can always tell them the code to that to get in there to get some if they need it. But it's better to leave. I would leave two extras. See, Colin and I disagree and, on this. I don't think anybody should have the code to the owner closet. I think just yeah, leave out some extra I just TP. Want to make sure, I want to make sure the guests are happy and have what they need. So if, if they need it in world. a jam. In a jam. Yes. That, yeah. uh, that a guest wouldn't go in and just clean you out, which could happen. Right. And the other, well, no one's going to travel back to uh, <laughs> Ohio from Florida with a bunch of soaps, <laughs> but maybe. Another thing you need to do, I think, and Cindy probably agrees, is leave a couple of extra paper towels because I don't mind if a guest uses lots of paper towel. I'm an environmentalist, but I also want to keep the place clean. So uh, if they run out of one roll and then decide they haven't had time to buy another one, that can be a problem. So get bamboo. Leave. You'll feel better about it. Yeah, bamboo paper towels are cool. They look... They look, they're beige, so some people have a problem with that, which doesn't make much sense, but <laughs> they work well. They're great. They do. Um, That's it. Something else. Yeah, there's a few oh, other things. Oh, boy. Yes. yes, yes, yes. We just was, we were just going to go over a couple of things. Okay, fair enough. So we can do more next time. Yeah. But those are the things that will make you, but where somebody will go, ah, oh, that was nice. I appreciate that. Yeah, make sure you have fresh ground pepper, too. Whatever you like to have as, as when you're visiting a place, make sure you have it for your guests. Pretend it's you that's there. A little the goes gold, a long the way. The golden rule of Airbnb hosting. Do unto others as you would like to have done unto you as a guest. So, yeah, I guess the, the main tip for that is make sure you stay in your own Airbnb and get the experience and find out what you need. And that those are the things that you really need to leave for your guests. This is so true. Wise one. That's it. Wise one? Yeah, you. You're oh, the wise that's one. me. <laughs> <laughs> well, very Until good. Until next time, uh, thanks for watching. We'll dance Thank on you. out of here. Thank you for tuning Happy in. Happy travels. Karate chop. <laughs> Go, Cindy. Go, Cindy. Play us out. And we're gone. Good night, everybody.